Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you how to cope with the Owl House ending, which I know took a toll on me and I'm sure it's been taking a toll on everyone. Here we go! Number one. It's great to dive into some fan art. I'll have links to the images popping up on my screen below, to their artists' pages. Check out all of their great material. You can check Pinterest, you can check Instagram, YouTube. There are so many great content creators for Owl House. And one that I'd love to especially highlight, for those who haven't heard of him, Morning Mark is an amazing creator on Twitter and Instagram and I'll have his pages linked down below as well. He creates these wonderful comics that, in my opinion, are almost canonical. Like, they feel just like what would happen in the show itself. Can't recommend it enough. Check out Morning Mark if you haven't already. Number two, check out different shows and books that have a similar feel to the Owl House. And this goes for any show that you're ending. If you can get yourself hooked on something new, then usually that's a much better way to transition out of that sadness if that's what you're looking for. Some shows that have a similar style to The Owl House are Amphibia or Gravity Falls. If you're looking for a good book, I highly recommend the book Fresh by Margot Wood. I absolutely love this book. My favorite book. I read it a year ago and it came out two years ago. It's the debut novel of author Margot Wood. And the main character is bi, it's got a bunch of great LGBT representation, it's quirky, it's fun, it's funny. Disclaimer, this book is probably best for people who are, I'd say at least 16. It's got some mature themes. So if you're going to read it younger, be very careful and cognizant of that. Number three, embracing the end. And what we've learned! There's a sort of sad happiness that comes from the end of a show you love. And to not let yourself feel it is almost a dismissal of what that show has meant to you in the first place. The Owl House is over. I want to continue taking the lessons I've learned from it and the parts of myself I've discovered through watching it and let those things shine. I think the best thing that we can do is accept this sad happiness that comes from the end of something great and do our best to live by what it's taught us, to care for the people around you and try to understand what they're going through and how to best help them, to believe in yourself and your own abilities, even when the world is telling you <laughs> that you're not good enough, that you're the wrong fit. It's just like Ida says, us weirdos have to stick together. I love the show. I'm gonna keep making content about it, but I'm also happy about the end of the journey, because that's an important part of it. That's what lets me know I can go somewhere from here. So let's go somewhere new together. Thanks for watching.